All right, people, finally, my Asian kits are done. Yay. I'm so glad. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm just going to jump right in. These will be listed in my Etsy shop, and I'm just going to have like a general picture. I'm not going to, um, I may post one or two extra pictures, but it'll just be like this. Okay. Um, just so you guys know. So there's that one. There's this one. And the price is what it is. I originally wanted these to be in the 45 ish, 50 ish range, but yeah, I added a book in there. So it's an official kit. Um, it's a, an official <laughs> um, GT Designs kit. Let me get a snapshot of this just in case. Okay, so yeah, there's 11 of them, although, let me see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, there's 11, but three of them are already spoken for, um, so that's that. Um, let me just show you what they look like. These were fun to make, and they were a lot, I think it's a lot easier to do a lesser amount um, than my usual, which is like, I don't know, like 20, 30 kits. Um, well, 20, a little bit plus um, kits. But in this case, I just did the 11, and I think I'm going to start doing my kits um, that way and so that there's just sort of like a limited edition on them. But they were really, really fun, guys. They were a lot of fun to make. Um, so there's those. I'll show you the fronts of each of these except for the ones that are spoken for. Not every kid gets this little tassely dramatic thingy there. <laughs> I didn't have um, a lot of that. I have, I have some other um, little pieces that, I, that I'll probably stick in there as a thank you. But I tried to stick to Asian. I didn't want this to go into the Bohemian Bohemian um, uh, theme, although it can. Um, and one thing I'll tell you now is that you can use my kits for any project. It doesn't have it. It's a kit ready for a an Asian theme book. I included a book in this, which is why the price is going to be raised a little bit. And I also included some of my hand dyed um, avocado hand dyed little doilies in there that I thought were really cute um, for these. Okay. So, um, the three that are spoken for, I'm going to leave those in their packs. Um, I will show you a card. Oh, I love this lady right here. Isn't she gorgeous? Okay. So, let me just go through one of these with you guys. Once the eight are gone, that's going to be it. Okay. There, there won't be any more because I got to move on to uh, my economy packs. I'm really excited about those. Um, and so... Yeah, those are going to be a lot of fun. And then for my surprise um, to just customers who bought my snippet roll um, kit slash slow stitching kit slash and Brooks 52 tag possibility kit. <laughs> um, those blue packs are looking beautiful. And before I start mailing them out, I will show um, one on on a video. I'll make a video of that for you guys. Okay, so they they I've already cut pretty much everything except for the beautiful cheesecloth fabric and the white um, sort of lacy fabric. Um, and so, yeah, um, I'm excited about those. Okay, let's go through one of these. I, I would do two. Let me just show you the backs as I put them back in. The box here. These were so fun. They were just really fun to make. And they all have books. I'll show you. Let me see. I'll insert a picture of the books I gutted here okay and even though you don't see the covers of them they're old they're really really old books so you can kind of see um yeah let's see there's that one let me show you the book in this one if i can get to them this one has a they were the whole kit is a um Oh, there it is right there at the top. You see that right there? That greenish book in there. So these kids, guys, were mostly focused on pink and green, right? That's the theme I was going for, pink and green, because it was inspired by 
um, this fabric right there. I showed you guys that fabric. So there's that one. Um, lots of pretty cards and I put some beads in there. I'll show you one here in just a sec. And some of that hand crochet. Not every kit got one of those. And not every kit got that fringy, um, what was it, a table runner that I showed you guys. This book in here is pink. And it's vintage. All the books are vintage. From the 60s. And I got at them and I did not include the block. Because the book titles of them were not attractive. <laughs> I mean, it was like kid psychology and helping blind kids and yeah the 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 um blocks weren't that attractive although i could put them in add them in there if you'd like i'd have to up the shipping just a little bit um and that's because you might be able to use it as a to glue your ephemera on or something like that okay so there's the back of that one the book in this cutie is a green one it's right there So much fun. These are so fun. <laughs> I just love them. I think they're just so fun. Um, and what a time to be making um, Asian theme packs. And kids, right? And look at the buttons in there. Not everybody got pretty, like, adorable buttons like that one. That one is really cool. But there's some pinks and greens in there. They're all vintage. Mostly all the stuff I have is vintage, to be honest. There are some contemporary... Um, ephemera papers in there okay and this book for this one is a really dark forest green you can see right there I mixed the colors I did not try to match the little dolls with the you know uh, floss uh, one of my signature um, elements in my kits um, I didn't try to match that I just put in lots of green lots of pink lots and lots of color just so much color not all the kids got this pretty um chandelier piece because some of you do like the dramatics and dramatics of dangles so there's a crystal in there and it's plastic it's old vintage very retro green crystal not all the kids got that but i substituted it with um you know uh, something else um the book for this one is Let's see. Wait, let me do that again. Hold on. Okay, is a green, a really loud spearmint green, I guess is what you would call that. Can you see it right there? There's the book. And these are vintage books. They're already gutted for you. There was only one book that when I was gutting it, um, I sliced a little bit through the... Um, through the spine just about that yay so but you don't want that spine the words on these these books were the recycled books and so they're not going to be books that you want to uh, preserve the title or use the title to sort of build a theme around the book again you can use these for slow stitching you can use these kits for just journal making in general you can use these kits to practice on if you're a newbie um, whatever you want there's a lot in here and they are full kits the way I define a kit is you have everything in one package to make a complete something right so there's a book in here there's um, ELO oh, ELO there's a uh, DMC sorry <laughs> uh, DMC in there all right. The only thing it doesn't include is a needle. You're on your own with that. I have plenty of those, but I don't have time to put those in here. So this book here for this one is, there's the back of it. There's some of my hand-dyed doilies in there. And you've got a really pretty big green doily and some napkins. What color is this book? Um, oh, there it is. It's a salmon. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, it's a salmon pink there and it is an old book you can't see the spine of it because it's between this beautiful um, bamboo wallpaper that I have okay so there's that and then the other three that are reserved I, I won't show those I mean I showed you a little bit of that card the front card but those are reserved for uh, some of my repeat buyers and thank you guys so much um, I'll open this one this one is really pretty. Um, we got a cute little uh, 
girl here, a, an Asian doll here. Get a picture of that. And then the book in this one, well, we'll find out. I think I put the book in this one to be just sort of a neutral uh, color. Okay, so let's go inside and see what these kits are all about. Um, they were so much fun to put together is all I have to say. They took me a lot of time because of the images that I... Let's do the fabric first. Well, actually, let's do the paper stuff first. They were fun because I actually scanned some stuff. Um, okay, so let me just flip it over. Y'all know how I do it. So you've got in these, and there will be some slight variations on the on the packs because if I didn't have enough of one something, then I would substitute it with something else. All the kits, I have plenty of this beautiful light blue and cream uh, bamboo paper. And no, I did not put this in the blue and cream thank you packs. <laughs> I may stick a piece in there. You never know. Um, but it's really nice. Um, and it's appropriate um, to the theme, which is an Asian theme. I'm not going for a Bohemian theme at all. Okay, I'm not, not going for that. But you can use these kits for Bohemian journals totally can you totally can okay and there's a rather large piece of this wallpaper in there and so I folded it I'm trying to be economical with these packs I'm trying to like get all the papers in there and, and not um, have to specially wrap anything this one has this book here all the books have their original pocket and title. And again, these titles, guys, are not um, the most attractive. But I have gutted all the books for you. And they are old. They are vintage. Okay. This one with the little uh, salmon-colored um, Asian doll um, is a light bluish vintage sort of brown. Well, not brown. Cream. A light bluish vintage cream color and it's intact again just ignore the spine that's not a spine you'd want on your Asian kit but why not recycle these um, and it took me a little while to gut these all of them but you know they're done and you can see where whoops you can see where some of the there we go some of that netting is in there um, original netting okay so there's that all the packs got some sort of, um, uh, I guess, designer paper or scrapbooking paper. You know, whatever it is you guys call it. And I did fold it in half um, because, again, I wanted these to be as economically um, compact as possible. Okay. And all the designer papers vary. Some of them are sparkly and, you know, Asian-y. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I hope I am saying that okay. You know, Asian-y papers, sparkly. I miss going to Chinatown in San Francisco. Oh my gosh, I miss San Francisco so much. Oh, I love San Francisco, but anyway, not going there. Miss it so much. So many old, beautiful things to see there. Just so much history, um, re preserved history. Um, even in the bars, I think I was telling you guys, if you've never been to San Francisco, you should go. Even in the bars, the old cash registers um, still sort of linger and and give that nostalgic feel of you know the the um, cowboy days, the gold mining days, um, just all of that. It's just so fun. It's so it's a really unique place. It's full of history, the trolley cars, the streets, the brick streets. Um, it's just a lot of fun. And then this is one of um, the girls um, that I um, that I uh, copied for you all. I tried her on black and white, and I tried her on. Um, hold on. I tried her um, in color, and so I wasn't able to get the printout in color. But if you're interested, just let me know, and I'll send you the the, the scan copy of the color of it okay and then you've got some junk 
that's beautiful junk. <laughs> I mean, you have to have junk in there, right? Because we're recyclers. We're rescuing books. We're making them pretty. We're recycling. We, we're repurposing everything. Saving Earth a little bit at a time and making some fantastic art um, is my whole thesis for being a junk journal supplier. These are really pretty. Um, these are ancient and old, and I've scanned those for you. Um, so you get that on an 8.5 by 11. And there's a black and white. And there's some black and white. And these are just pieces, random pieces to collage with. And then here is some... Um, this is some paper. Where is my... Let me go get my Daiso packaging. Hold on, guys. Okay, this I got from Daiso. Um, if you're lucky enough to live... Um, Oh my gosh, with Daiso's. I mean, it took us, our area, a little while to get one, but um, these are fun stores. My niece loves Daiso. I introduced it to her because she likes, she likes writing, she likes drawing anime, she loves anime. So do my students. And so um, this was, this is one of our favorite places to go together. And then, of course, afterwards, an ice cream. <laughs> it's inevitable. Um, so if you have, a Daiso, these are, it's like a, it's the equivalent of our dollar stores or Dollar Tree or Family Dollar or Dollar General or whatever dollar dollar stores in your area. Um, and so the paper is really nice. It's called Specialty Calligraphy Paper for final versions. Um, and then I love they have it in Spanish as well there. <laughs> um, it says heavy weight. Um, and let's see natural color and what does it say down here it just says calligraphy paper Daiso Japan so I put a couple of um, sheets in there um, for you guys I, I, I don't like to overwhelm my kit um, my kits with um, too much of one thing because my whole um, theory and idea about that is is that it forces you to be more creative if you're not overwhelmed with too much of one thing um, that's why I like those those smaller kits that people put together um, sometimes because there's not a lot. Um, it's like a little tag or a little postcard kit. Um, it forces you to focus on just that one particular little space, um, um, art space. And then these I scanned. Um, these were a lot of fun. I'll show you the originals to these. Now, the, the person who scanned these for me um, is the sweetest ever. Oh my God, he is so sweet. He's sweet. <laughs> I love him so much. Um, he scanned these for me, and I'll just show you here. And the one thing is, is that he didn't get all of this um, image here, the shoulder, and I did not uh, save these. Um, they're not, um, in fact, I'm going to give these tiles away. Um, they're, or not, sort of happy mail them, I should say. Um, so I won't sell these in my shop or anything okay but what they are are tiles um, and and I would guys I would argue that the image um, on the paper looks better than the image the original it looks pretty much the same right so there's uh, one two three four five six of them okay and they're just fun. So these won't belong to me anymore. After this, these kits, they, these won't be mine. So the recipient can do whatever, um, whatever, right? Um, and so I just copied them on a really nice university uh, printer um, to get them to be as colorful and beautiful as they are. You can collage with these. Um, even though my helper <laughs> didn't get all of the tile in there, I think it it just adds to that use your imagination um, you know idea um, we can't always have everything so perfect um, I mean per perfection in, in art whatever kind of art or genre of art it is it's that's fun but I don't know I think it's something about a missing shoulder that challenges um, perspective that challenges ideas that challenges um, what you'll do next um, and and how you'll use the piece how would this piece influence you to um, use other pieces um, in the work um, I love this image here these came out of an old vintage um, life 
uh, mag life book that was, let me show you what these look like. Hold on. I'm trying to get my words together here. So these books I scored a long time ago and they're just fun guys. They're fun. So go on the internet, find some of these. Um, they're just really, really interesting. They have so many images um, and the images are more realistic than they are illustrated in terms of drawing or art. Um, that kind of thing. They're more realistic. Okay. Um, so I had one of these life, uh, nature, universe, uh, books, and it was about Japan. Okay. Um, and so I took that book apart and the cover is reserved. It's gone. Um, I took it apart and these were some of the images that came out of these. And those are from the seventies, I think. Um, let's see here. Um, um, 1962. At least the universe one is. So I love this image. Like, look at him. And he's fixing all these TVs. It says, Far-seeing Tycoon sits among some of the more than 10,000 different items which range from transistors to homes produced by his company. Born in 1894, Matsushita, okay, I shouldn't put English, Texan, and Spanish accents on everything. Matsushita, 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 um, nevertheless epitomizes Japan's post war energy and progress. His welfare program for his workers is amazingly comprehensive. Is amazingly comprehensive. That's comprehension right there. <laughs> All that. <laughs> okay, let me move on. Um, okay, so all of the, the packs have some of these pages in here. Um, this lady is absolutely gorgeous, extraordinarily beautiful. The spell of a vanishing, um, loveliness. Loveliness is one of my favorite words. Let me get an image of that. There we go. Um, and then there's some little kids. I did put some children's, um, book pages and, and um, Korean text in here for fun um, and sorry if your edges looked jammed into the pack because I did jam them in there it's <laughs> all of us who sell junk journal supplies and junk journal kits we all know what it is to pack everything up and then unpack it and then pack it back up again it's like oh my god but it must be done <laughs> it must be done. It has to be done. Okay. And then there's some pretty graph. Now, Sophia Jiang um, in China, one of my friends um, who sends me so many beautiful things. I, I just, I don't know what I did to be a part of her graces, get into <laughs> the goodness of her grace. Um, but she, like, I don't know, but she just... I get happy mail from her that comes from China and it's like it's so amazing um, and I'm so grateful because things like the papers that she sends me um, I well I'll show you here in a minute the um, handwriting original handwriting in Mandarin we can't find that stuff here in the United States this was some paper that she sent me and Lord knows I don't know if it's up or down <laughs> I don't know Oh my God, I don't know. My bestie in San Francisco, who is a published author, um, whom I had the pleasure um, of buying a journal for from the lovely and beautifully talented um, Sheena at Luna Razu. Um, that, that journal is just so loved and well received. All of the journals that I buy, this is vintage writing paper from my stock. The journals that I buy for my friends is it's amazing guys they just they absolutely love it they just I mean and it's such a surprise and I put this in here this is a um, ideal magazine I still haven't found my stack of those somewhere that I want to add to those Christmas D stashes whenever um, those are out I just I can't find them they're here they're somewhere I don't know where they are I don't know but I put this in here for the trees so yeah the the the, look at this look at this baby oh my god he he looks like my uh, bestie's uh, baby boy she's another uh, mom that um, struggled with infertility and um, 
had him in, I think she was older than my sister. My sister was 40 when she had my niece. My bestie was 44 um, when she had her baby. Guys, he is so adorable. Oh my God, he's so cute. During the pandemic, she sent me some videos of him. Um, you can use these words here to create your own words like uh, Tahira and Dolores and uh, Donna and Tiff do. They put sentiments around pictures and things. I love that. I think that's so cool. But yeah, she was... Um, these are Reader's Digest pages. She was just so in because San Francisco, California was really, really terrible, um, worse off than a lot of places were for a while. And so she sent me some videos of him doing exercises to the television, you know, because people were trying to stay, I hope we were all trying to stay fit um, during during COVID. Um, I hope so. Um, it's kind of important, right? Um, and so she sent me videos of him. Guys, he was kicking up his little legs and looking up at the television and then bending down and putting his hands like this and lifting one. <laughs> he's so cute. Oh, my God. He's so cute. Here's some vintage stationery in peaches and light blues. There's some other um, festive shiny stationery. This is all vintage stationery, and again with the pinks and um, uh, greens. This is some vines there. There's a pink envelope. This all varies. Uh, most of the kits have all of these papers, um, but the envelopes will vary. So there's some pink and green envelopes that I put in there for you. And then some old vintage writing papers that are all patinaed. And then this lovely doily. And I just put one of these in here um, for you guys because I was not able to put more than that um, in there for everybody. And then not all the kids got a pretty paper uh, like this one, but um, I made it up some way or another. Most of them have some reds and blacks and pinks and purples. And then you get some language um, characters, some Korean um, characters. In there and I think um, you can collage with these the kit is meant for you to make a full complete journal beautiful purples and greens um, uh, Korean text I think this one is I forget I think this one is Mandarin so you've got some children's pages but even these pages would be fun to collage with their yellows and blues little writing papers so yeah you can collage with these you guys have seen these before I've used these in kits before I have plenty of that kind of stuff um, these are vintage salmon colored um, index cards tabs um, and then this is what I got from Sophia and she sent me so many of these um, I've put some of these in my students in my nieces um, journals who love anime and things like that but the handwriting is what I love it's just beautiful and it's written let me show you guys all the kids have some some of these it's written um, some of them are written long ways and then this way or in the appropriate manner um, that Chinese people write isn't that gorgeous and there's two pages of that love that so much and you get the original envelope so there's that I love those and then you've got two of my avocado dyed doilies this is new I added these I added Sophia's um, the letters that she found or you know had and they've got pretty stamps on them and and um, cancellations um, I added those, I added my doilies, my avocado dyed doilies, um, the bamboo paper, and a book cover. So that's why the price is going to be a little bit more than what I originally um, said it would be. Okay, so you can go over to my Etsy shop and, and you know, make your decision over there um, if it's in your budget or not. And then, oh, so you've got this pink and green. These are beautiful to collage with. I love how the ladies old school style um, use these to collage on glassine or uh, deli paper so those are really pretty I love this design here and some of these are discontinued 
um, you know, like I, I, I couldn't find these again if I wanted to. So some of them are discontinued. These I got lucky. Um, I'll keep the packaging of these and see if I can find these again. But these are just really beautiful. These remind me of San Francisco uh, Chinatown. Okay, so there's the paper part of that. Now let me show you um, the fabric part of these. This is, um, it's in twos. So I'll show you this part first. Um, there is this doily here that I cut and it looks cut like this because that's the way the doily was made. It it had like, um, like this didn't go all the way around it I don't believe. Um, anyway, I just cut it up so that everybody will have a piece of this. And if your piece doesn't look like this, it looks like... Um, well, it looks like a flower. It's a rounder one, but it's the same, made by the same um, artist, okay? So you'll get a piece of that. And then in the fabric pack, what I did, let me just show you guys. I put in, um, and I'm not going to go, like, unravel all of this because you guys know how I am. I can't hold my peace. I can't hold my excitement, so I just put it out there, right? Because I'm so excited. So I'm not going to unravel this, but um, there is enough of this fabric to, um, and this is what inspired these kits, to be honest. It's enough in here for you to cover a journal or two, maybe two TNs, one nice size journal. So there's that piece. And then this one, oh my God, this one is so beautiful. I just love this so much. The one thing I'll tell you about this beautiful pattern and this um, fabric, it unravels. So this, it lets you know, well, I'll let you quilting, stitching people figure it out. But it lets you know how this was made. Like, sorry, my phone after 33 minutes, it splits. Um, but this pattern right here, it lets you know that um, it, it's like crochet. It unravels. Is what is what I'm trying to say um, it's very beautiful and this is sort of a pinkish coral and cream color so you'll get that with lots of ravel I saved a lot of that to put on my thank you tags for people and this piece oh I just love this color so much I don't know if I kept some of this for me or not um, I just love this color. When you see this piece in person, you're going to be like, what? I mean, you can see that shimmer, that beautiful teal and gold. Um, it's just so pretty. And I divided it out. It was, um, it was a sari. And I divided it out. I think, was it a sari or was it... Uh, guys, okay, here's the ghetto Texan in me. I don't know if it was a sari or a table runner because it had tassels on the end lots of them I think <laughs> I showed it on camera <laughs> I don't remember so sorry versus a table runner guys I don't know but it's so light and thin and it's so beautiful I just love the shimmer of it okay gotta stop playing with that leave it alone and then this piece here you'll get and you can cover a tee in with this this is really beautiful too it's that same shimmery um, it, this one is more like um, sort of I don't know kind of gold and burgundy and yellowy and I don't know there's some hints of purple in there a little bit very pretty very very pretty love that and then this one I showed on camera now not everybody got the little squares um, pieces not everybody got that um, but what you did get is um, this gorgeous uh, sorry in some form of fashion um, it's just beautiful it's just stunning and again I'm going for an Asian theme I'm not going for a bohemian theme but you can use these packs for bohemian journals or projects they're just beautiful the fabrics are just gorgeous All right, there's that one. And then I put in some 
just some green pieces because it was a pink and green um, theme. Now this I love and I've shown this on camera before. I was fortunate enough to pick up packs of this uh, fabric which is a cotton um, with these pinks and greens in there and so like I said you can use these for um, any project you choose. They're just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, um, fabrics and pinks and greens in here. And there is a dash of red, obviously. Um, there's a, a dash of red. This I got from Carla Frizzell, I think, sent me this. And I've had some of this before. I think I'll, I've seen other ladies use this. It's so pretty. And um, some of you got a lot with these little flower clusters. And some of you just got these little tiny pieces. But I, I think like these little flowers on page ends or in paper clips are just beautiful. They're so pretty, and that does have an Asian feel. And then you get this piece here, um, which is gorgeous. It's so pretty. Here's the inside of it, and then here's the, the front of it here. And I think this is really pretty, too, to sort of... Um, I tried to keep the cutouts of this um, sort of, you know, intact with the patterns, the motifs in case you wanted to cut that out and stitch it onto something um, so most of those have have that beautiful piece there and then finally I'm gonna go ahead and put this piece in here in the back um, finally then you have this beautiful organza ribbon and there may be some more pieces of organza ribbon in the packs like this um, the camera won't do this justice. It's just a gorgeous salmon um, see-through, and I love this for pockets. Um, pockets or whatever you choose to, to create with it. It's just really beautiful. So all the packs got that. Okay, and then you've got, let me move this over. This pack, oh my gosh, it continues the fabric because I just started packing things and was just like, oh my God, I just got to get stuff in the bag. I'm going to struggle getting it in the bag. All right, let's look at this here. So um, let me start with, start with this here. This is another one of those pieces that's really pretty and shimmery. And again, you, you know, you can use it for bohemian or whatever it is you'd like. Um, and by the way, Bohemians are very different than gypsies. Gypsies are very different than hippies. Um, they're, they're not the same. But we, today, our 21st century minds, we like to put everything and mix it all up and put it together. And they're very different. Gypsies were very, very conservative. Um, and very, very much um, <laughs> not very friendly to people of color. Okay, um, so just just so you know, uh, do your research on those because they're not the same. Gypsies are not Bohemians. Bohemians are not hippies. Hippies are not gypsies. Hippies are not Bohemians. Okay, Ernest Hemingway's novels um, capture what Bohemians were and who they were. Read The Sun Also Rises and you'll know what Bohemians and who they are and what they what they are but they do um, all of them do have shiny things and jingly things and bells and and maybe that's what our community um, is sort of meshing um, the jingly and the color okay so there's that really pretty piece um, then you've got this gold just white cream very Asian um, shiny piece but it's beautiful um, texture and quality all of the fabrics are really really nice quality they're all vintage so there's that beautiful piece and then you've got this gorgeous piece here and this is sort of silky it's very shiny and silky very very Asian-y so the colors are pinks and greens but you can certainly use this palette for other projects and I'll keep saying that um, you can use the the color you know these colors can go either way and then this is one of my favorite pieces and I've showed you guys this on camera this has hints of um, lavender and 
sort of this um, goldy and then this kind of citrusy green. Um, it's just beautiful and look how it frays. If you can see that, the fraying there, just gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful pieces. And then finally in fabrics are these two. Here's a, an old pink um, fabric. This reminds me of sort of that wood grain, those old 1970 get down with the get down uh, wooden panels um, in my great auntie's garage in one room in my mom's house, um, the den actually, um, there's still these panels. I mean, it's, it's amazing that people even still have those, but they do. Um, I think a lot of mobile homes might have these kind, those kind of panels still. Um, they're just fun, and they're, they're such a, a neat throwback to the 70s and 60s. So that's what this reminds me of, wood grain. And it's a pink. And there's a lot of that. A lot of uh, um, All the kids have that. And then the last piece is this red. Um, this is so beautiful. I've gifted some of this before. Um, and it has this gorgeous uh, red... Um, bird here and let me turn him around sort of this dragon looking bird if you can see him there or her and then these gorgeous florals here and motifs and patterns so I did it is a red and um, I mean a pink and green themed pack um, but I did um, juice it up with some red um, and rev it up just a little bit, um, you know, just for some surprise. And then you've got papers, and thank you uh, to Sophia. I was able to put in some beautiful, real, original OG paper from China, or wherever she got these from, and they just have, these are calendars, um, they just have the, the most loveliest images on them. So all the packs... Um, got some of those. Look at that. Just beautiful, beautiful images. And then, again, from Sophia, pinks and green. Um, these are invoices. And they've got two whole punches over here. And um, all the packs um, the kids have um, some of this gorgeous paper. And this is original paper from China. And it's double sided. Okay, so you get some of that. I put several of those in there. And um, God bless her heart because she just, I mean, she just really, really, really uh, packs my mailbox with, you know, beautiful things. Um, and she sends it to me so that I can use it in my kits. And there it is. Um, I also put in some cards. A lot of the cards have some kind of Asian um, term or theme on there or close to it. I put in some uh, money, some color money, and other cards and little ephemera. Two glassine bags, um, two of these nickel and dime, uh, there we go, sorry about that, two of these nickel and dime um, pieces. I put in some seam binding, and this is vintage um, for all of the, the kits have these, but the colors vary. They're either pink or green, so, um, and that you can use. There's the original paper on there, so you get some of that. You've also got um, these gorgeous postcards um, that, again, Sophia sent to me, and I just love these. I think they're so beautiful. Um, there's the back of them. You can use them, like, for real. And that's the Shanghai Museum, a drawing thereof, and it's got a little stamp over here. Okay, and um, one of the things I will do is when I send these off to you, I'm going to use my, oh boy, my bestie, I'll have to show you guys. Um, uh, I think it's in this drawer right here that's blocking my cam or my camera's blocking the drawer. I'll show you in a minute how I will thank you uh, with an original Taiwanese um, stamp that my bestie uh, made for me um, years ago. Two of them um, while we were living in California. She's the writer um, who lives in San Francisco. 
um, and I'll stamp a thank you and sign my name in uh, Taiwanese. And there's that guest check. And then these were some of those tickets. Um, these passes that Sophia sent me. So you get some original, again, original Asian pieces. And she also sent me, Sophia did, these gorgeous, beautiful um, index cards. And they're double-sided in two colors. There's green on one side. I think some of them might be blue, if I remember correctly. Um, but they're double-sided. And I put several of those in there because she sent me so many. Here are the blue ones. These are green and black. And they are, they do have the uh, Mandarin characters on there. And these are blue. On one side, for you to fill in, you can use these for recipe cards or journaling cards, whatever you'd like blue on one side and blue lined only on the other and then these library cards with Mandarin characters on them <laughs> they don't have um, our United States of America and other places yeah these have the, the, the these are the real deal <laughs> so there's four of those that I put in there I'm so um, fortunate that she um, sent me all these goodies and then I put in a lot of um, and these are going to be upside down if I can get them right. Um, so fortunate um, that she blessed me with all of that, those goodies. And that's why she did it, so that I can use them for my kids. And that's what I'm doing. So there's that. So you get a lot of these. I have a ton of these. And anybody who's interested in buying a few of these cards, just holler at me. I've got plenty of them. I will likely end up putting um, some in Happy Mail. And then I put in um, for you guys... Hold on, let me get it together here. There's some um, ribbon in pink and green. And then you have these cards. Oh, wait, there's more Sophia's, um, <laughs> these tickets here. Look at these. Those are fun. They're like vellum. So I put some of those in there. And then these have little Mandarin characters on them and little um, Chinese characters on there and look at the little fan. These, this is a sticker with the bamboo and the cicada which is appropriately uh, very timing <laughs> I'd say. <laughs> that might be a locust. Locust, cicada, what do you guys think? Same thing? Doesn't matter really does it? Look at that. <laughs> those are fun I love those and those are like vellum and um, these are vellum and then these are stickers so those are a lot of fun to play with and then I have a ton of cards I am the card guru but I still have to go shop at Sue's at the brown pair guys for my jokers because you know <laughs> she has a lot of cards so you get some of these I wanted to say these were I forget what you call those plants. Those, um, I can't remember. Oh my gosh. I, I, it's on the tip of my tongue and I can't get it out. So there's that. There's this beautiful lady. And there are these. And these have, um, uh, sort of Japanese characters on the side. These are playing cards. You get some panda bears, of course. Taiwanese cards of Taiwan. This lovely lady here. And then these are fun. And when I found these, I think I've shared these with you guys before. Somebody wrote on them, K everywhere. But they're really, really cool. So those are fun to, to play around with. And then these gorgeous cards. Oh, I love these so much. These are so pretty. Very pink and green, salmon color and green. And you can stick these down in um, in pockets uh, as embellishments or little elements to add to your pockets. The sides of pages. These are in green with a green edging. There's this one. And it's got Chinese characters over here. And then there's Milan. And then this lady. And these will all vary. Um, this looks like, reminds me of, look at this. 
Don't you guys find that interesting? Isn't that cool? So, um, these must be some kind of royalty people. I'm not sure. But these cards vary in the kits. But they're all, some of them are just, I mean, some of the women are just beautiful. The way they're dressed and everything, it's so cool. And then these beautiful pink cards, um, pink and green cards are just gorgeous. And I put four of those in there. And then those, I'm not sure I had enough of, of these cards to put in every kit. Um, but yeah. Okay, and then finally, the last part, you get two skeins of floss, my signature for kits, um, that I came up with years ago. That way you can sew in your signatures. There's two little tags. And there's some of this. All the kits did not get this. Only the kits that were missing um, the floppy doppy uh, dramatic um, tassel. <laughs> um, I put you guys some of this in there. And this is really pretty. This is vintage. This came out of some sewing stuff that I found. It's pink and gold and cream. So that's really pretty. I like that. And then there's some of this in there in pink and green. I don't know what you call that. And then this pretty pink and uh, cream lace. Little embellishments for you to play around with. And then this one. And the tape on this, guys, when I cut this, I did have to put tape on the end so it doesn't unravel. But this is really pretty as well. It's a true pink and green, very, very uh, appropriate for um, this pack. And then I put in a little bag. Not everybody will get that long green um, uh, dangly doogly. You know what I'm talking about. I showed it to you earlier. This here, not everybody got this. Uh, whoops, sorry. Okay, I think we're good. Not everybody got um not everybody got this old lamp shade dangle thingy. Um those are fun. I, I got those guys uh, at a thrift store. There was only like I don't know, like eight in there. I can't remember. But anyway, not all the packs got those. So what I did is tried to make up by giving you an extra something else, okay? So this is just an idea. So you've got some pretty buttons that are Asian-y theme. You've got um, some pinks and some with Asian characters on them. So you get some of those. Whoops, sorry, I'm wiggly wobbly here because my camera is, my tripod is, there we go. You get one more. Just bear with me, people. There we go. So the packs have buttons in them that you can play around with. And then I put some beads in there. And these beads are all kinds of pretty colors. Um, whoops, I don't know why I hit... Okay, yeah, anyway. So yeah, there's that. Can you guys see that? So I put in some reds, that uh, red to sort of uh, pull out away from the pinks and greens. There's some greens and purple and you know sort of iridescent ice blue and some gold all colors that sort of fit the theme of um, the packs the kits alright so those colors will will all go together okay and then um, this is my favorite guys remember years ago um, when my aunt passed my great um, Annie passed away I my husband and I I was fortunate enough to get um, the chandelier, gosh, guys, I ate underneath that chandelier, oh my God, for years I, as a kid, um, and I dismantled it and um, sold years ago a lot of her things on Etsy, um, and people who were interested in the 70s vibe and the, you know, um, the, but even not even the 70s vibe just all kinds I don't know what the, they did with the stuff but one lady sent me pictures of what she did with some of my aunts um, sort of the old Viking swords that she would had crossed and hanging on the walls in her den around a bunch of ducks and stuff that my uncle used to cuss out and say there was too many ducks and he wanted to take a shotgun and shoot them all <laughs> as a joke because my aunt loved ducks oh my god um, anyway so these came from the chandelier, um, and I've had these in my shop 
for years. I've sold some of them. I still have a few left. But I made sure to put these in your, your packs as well. So you're getting a little bit of my family history. They're so pretty. Um, they're just so vibrant. Um, and these are, you know, they're they're kind of pricey. Um, but I'm just enjoying share, uh, uh, parting them out for once um, and in this manner. Okay. And that's it. Um, let's see. The, the very last thing, the very last piece I have for you guys is, is sort of a sweet um, and one of a kind piece to each kit. And that's this cute little old doll. And I tried to leave the paper, the vintage paper, um, behind um, these uh, dolls. Just because, you know, um, to keep it original and you might be able to collage with that paper or something. Um, all of the, the dolls are different. They're not all the same. Um, there are some females and there are some males. Um of course and they all have different colors um, and there's signature stickers on the back um, so yeah these were these were fun to to sort of add um, in the packs okay and that's gonna wrap it up for me guys it's a really nice pack um, like I said these will be in my Etsy store um, when this video is posted um, so just shop away and keep in mind um, when you're shopping with me you're helping me buy journals from you and other people other makers um, you know my the ladies who donate my student journals um, they just have a forever it's like a forever club with me because I, I will forever send them happy mail um, forever because um, it's just the blessing that they that they actually do that and I can't say thank you enough to them for doing that um, so just remember when you purchase for me you are purchasing so that I can buy journals for my students and keep my shop stocked with goodies um, and all of that it's pretty much the, the same as you guys do right we all sort of use the funds for our own means for our own preferences I should say and mine is to keep buying journals so there you have it okay all right guys I hope you're all doing well and I hope everybody is is um, being crafty and you're doing something fun oh my god before I go how much time do I have two minutes um, if you haven't seen uh, Nick the booksmith's recent challenge holy crap <laughs> Oh my god oh my god it sounds like it's gonna be so much fun so go check out Nick the booksmith's last video guys what a what a beautiful and therapeutic challenge I'm saying it's therapeutic um, for uh, journal makers and those who are interested in learning how to journal make I think it's I think that's gonna be a lot of fun I'm gonna follow that to the law the letter I've got to because I can't wait to see what people do um, I wish I could participate. I may at a later point, um, but I've got too much going on, and August will be here before I know it, guys. So I'm already starting to think about my syllabi um, for the upcoming semester. I will be back in the classroom um, in August, and um, I'm looking forward to that so much. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a, a heavy load again. Like, you know, I'm going to have more than enough classes um that will keep me really busy so anyway all right that's all i had to say i will talk to you guys later do your homework remember gypsies are not hippies hippies are not gypsies none of them either of them neither of them are bohemians um they're all very very different um do your research do your homework but i think in our community um i think the jingly jiggly part and the colors and belly dancing feel <laughs> living off the grid feel it just all kinds to come it all kind of uh, comes together is what i'm trying to say but hippies were really different my mom is an og hippie um and my my dad my uh my adopted father my biological father wasn't so much but my even though they were both musicians but my adopted father oh my god i miss and love him so much i always say that and i forever will him and my mom were hippies my daddy wore the daishiki he wore the bandana around his his afro he was all part of the black power thing and you know and free this and free freedom that and um he went to vietnam and he smoked a lot of pot and he smoked a lot of pot up until he died um my mom was right alongside him and she would 
you know, dress like a hippie, um, which is probably why whew, I have the personality that I do. <laughs> because my parents were real hippies, man. <laughs> they were not gypsies. They were not bohemians. Bohemians have money to travel. Um, bohemians travel and they do art literature music. They talk about art literature music. They follow art literature music. They are writers. Ernest Hemingway was a bohemian. Um, so do your homework, people. Um, but I don't think it really matters right in the junk journaling community in terms of the jingly and the colors and the flashy bells and all that kind of stuff i think the hippies jippies and um bohemians were all doing that kind of thing but bohemians they they traveled a lot um they didn't work you know they they didn't really hold down jobs <laughs> they just traveled and and talked art and literature and they drank a lot and they smoked cigarettes a lot um Desiree's Baby, written by Kate Chapin, um, there is a moment in the beginning of the short story where uh, Desiree is sort of left at the gate of a Louisiana plantation by a band of gypsy Texans um, that are traveling. They're Texans, a band of Texans traveling through Louisiana, and they drop her off because gypsies, you know, I mean, kids are hard to, to care for. Um, and so if you're traveling on foot or via one of the, you know, caravans and, and um, but not everybody wanted to take care of kids. Um, and so Desiree is sort of left at the gate of a Louisiana plantation um, by that band of Texans um, who likely, most likely argumentatively um, are gypsies. Um, they're not bohemians. They're not hippies. Okay. All right, guys. Talk to you guys later. I'll see you soon. Bye. Adios, sale pues, orale pues.